So it says, um, begin with a quick synopsis of the case. Um, the discussion that best fits, whatever. This is weird. <laughs> so we just pretty much have to talk about the case. So we read into the case study. Yeah, so like they'll give us, there's questions. Um, it says, what's the issue? Um, obviously, and then it even gives a hint, Simon York's behavior. <laughs> yeah, okay. Wait, so is there like a like a group? Because I thought I saw on the syllabus there's like a group leader that like will get a topic emailed to us or something. And yeah, like so this week, usually I think there's a password that has to go with these, but this week it was just open. Okay. So I just... I opened it up, but oh, I think it's, it's a case study activity instructions. Yeah. Okay. And then I, there's a sheet that we have to fill out that says who's going to be the leader each week. Okay. And so we'll have to fill that out too. And then that way he knows, I guess, who to email the password to. All right. It's beyond um, me. So it looks like the other guy's not even like responding to any emails or anything. No, so it's probably just going to be two of us. It's fine with me. The smaller, the better with an online class. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. You taking um, Rio 2 from 2? Yep. How's that going? It's brutal. It is absolutely <laughs> brutal. We had our first test last week. How'd you do? 70%. Ah, better than me. I got a 67. <laughs> Dude, do you have Packard? Oh, yeah. Uh, I feel like some of those questions on there were so Packard. Like I was like, oh, because I took Packard for two and I'm like, of course he throws this stuff out. <laughs> uh, I was, I knew it to the back of my hand. I could do everything. I got 100 percent on the quiz. Like I was so prepped for it, and then no, did not do good on it. <laughs> yeah. What other What other accounting class are you taking? Uh, tax 322. How's that? It's pretty easy. I'm pretty sure I just aced the test. So I have. I'm doing auditing. It's super easy. <laughs> That's what I've heard. I got a. We had our first test. I got an A on it, and I. It was. I like took it in 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> auditing is pretty easy. I like. You just have to read the book pretty much and study a little bit, and it's like. Pretty much, pretty easy. Next interesting, actually. So, right. so it says, it asks the question, all right, we already know that Simon's the problem. Right. Um, it was only two pages, right? Yeah. Okay, I, I was like, is it really only two pages? I was like, for, for a while, I was... Well, he says there has to be eight problems in there. I came up with four. I came up with four, too. I don't even... <laughs> I keep getting graded off on the same things. Like, it's literally copy and paste from the last one. <laughs> I used, it doesn't say anywhere that you had to have a works cited page. Not in the example yeah. paper, not in the ex instructions. It has said there's nowhere that you need to have a works cited page. So I don't do that. And I did, I used one, I used, I used a business article for each recommendation and I still got marked down on it. I was right. Like, that's, I got marked down on that too. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Anyways. Uh, whatever. Yeah. But pretty much the case was Simon York just went crazy on his employees because he didn't think it was up to standard of his. Yeah. I wrote about how, <laughs> He, he's a very dominant person. Um, right. How that can be good for a company because he's willing to take charge. He's willing to actually go do what needs to be done. But at the same time, it's a problem because he, he'll overstep his bounds. Right. Yeah, that's uh, kind of what I talked about too. I I went into detail. I saw, I thought that the way that, um, what's the other guy's name that went to Darby or Shel, Shelbro, Shelbourne or something like that? Shelburne? Yeah. I thought the way that he like carried himself out with Derby was a little like unprofessional mm -hmm. stuff. <clears throat> um, 
And so, yeah, that was one of the problems was public reprimanding. Yeah, for my problems, I put like coaching, leadership, and um, wow, what's it called? Um, coworker problems. Because I think coworker problems was like probably the biggest thing because they like weren't getting along. And uh, I think I also put a problem as like coaching and having hard conversations because I like the last paragraph of the case, it talks about how Derby scheduled an appointment with Simon York to talk about it. And like, she was kind of like vague about how she went by scheduling it. She didn't actually give a real reason. So Simon York just thought like, they were going to talk about marketing strategies or something like that. So like really he was, the whip was coming down. Yeah. Yeah. He wasn't prepared. <laughs> so I think that like overall coaching at all levels, like needs to be better. And um, yeah, there's obvious coworker problems that's leading to um, a bad workplace, which in turn probably leads to uh, inefficiency. Definitely. Um, one of the questions it asks is, what do you believe the culture at Derby Foods is? Um, and, and I think just going off it, it's it's really team built. Um, right. They have to work together. It sounded like they have a lot of different team managers to come up with ideas, work within their own groups. Um, yeah. I, I think it's like a, they have high standards for excellence mm -hmm. so that's kind of i think that might be a reason why simon york has is like one wants the thing to be perfect and is going a little above his reach kind of talking to the uh, people that were making the labels definitely um, some of the suggestions it says in here it just says um with Mary's role that she provides consistent feedback, um, gives award rewards. Um, and so that's how she supports the culture. Right. But it also says how she goes against it. She allows inconsistent behavior. And I think we can see that with Simon. Just, I don't know how he, she thought that he was just, since he was new into the position that what he was doing in the meeting was okay. But then after hearing about a couple other things, she's like, Oh, maybe not. Um, and so she kind of has to decide, all right, what's, what do our team managers need? What kind of attitude do they need to have? And probably have a meeting with all of them say, this is what you guys need to do. Um, this is what you need to do within your groups, how supportive you need to be, uh, build up each other. Don't ever give any public criticism, things like that. That's what, wait, say that again, that's what she thought? Uh, that, like, that's what she yeah, did? Like, so it says, in here, it says that she allowed inconsistent behavior. And I think right. she lets each team manager kind of manage in their in their own way, and they should all have kind of the same idea, in a way, same uh, methods that they yeah, should be supportive. Yeah, I agree with that. Because she seemed from what I was kind of getting like almost like a pushover sometimes in the beginning of the case um, because how she let somebody because I'm a, she's like I'm assuming she's like she was like high up she was VP right vice pre, vice president I think so she was head of production or something I don't know okay so yeah like how people came to her and like just like stormed in and was like I have a problem with this guy like I don't know if she had more of a what's it, like a, a personality, but like a presence in the workplace. Like she's the boss. I don't know. I, people shouldn't be storming into her office saying that they have a problem with a coworker. Mm -hmm. So I, yeah, inconsistencies is, is was it was a problem, I believe. Yeah. Um, and then it asks, what is Simon's role in maintaining the culture? Um, I think I think the way he really worked towards it is that he always he, he had ideas he wanted to push forward um, where the company was going keep because as it as it talked about that he brought in a new generation of um, consumers through social media yeah. and things like that so I think he's really contributing by going 
thinking outside the box from what the company is doing. Yeah, because it says that he replaced somebody that was older that, um, and even when that older person was in, he helped facilitate newer new ideas and progress. So I think that he was, that's, yeah, he was always, he was very ambitious and he wanted to always be doing these new ideas and pushing the, the boundaries. Mm-hmm. But, and then he was just, I mean, he was only hindering it because he's, he's new to the leadership position. He doesn't know how to, how to do it. Right. I think it was a little weird that, um, where he talks about, they had a meeting with, they were doing a meeting about a presentation and something went wrong or something on the PowerPoint. Mm-hmm. And he kind of like joked to the employee, like, hi, this would like set your career back, like in front of everybody else. So I kind of thought that was, he shouldn't have, he shouldn't like do that, like kind of humiliate his employee right in front of the other workers and stuff. Like he should, if it was a problem, like pull him aside and like tell him what the problem was and why it was important that it be fixed. It's not like public humiliating them in 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 a conference meeting, you know? Yeah. That's just, uh, if I got publicly embarrassed, Right. right. I'd have a grudge against that boss. Like Exactly. I wouldn't like that. I would always be like, I'd always be like, I feel like I'd be around the coworkers be like, oh, I don't like the boss. There'd be yeah. like a bad, uh, bad feelings towards the boss. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to flip them off all the time. <laughs> yeah. You didn't, you like, I've had experiences like that where like I have bad managers and you just, it's so much like work is so much better when you have a good manager when you have a bad manager like you never want to come to work and it's just terrible yeah well it's just like uh in the speed of trust that we're reading now he just talks about how much that that plays a role and you know if you can't trust your boss then production goes down cost goes up yeah how far are we supposed to be in speed of trust um i think you're supposed to be in chapter three this week which is we just read the four cores okay yeah right after four cores the we're on the 13 behaviors page one oh i need to catch up with that then (laughs) (laughs) yeah i gotta catch up with that have you been you've been You've caught. You're all up to date with Speed of Trust. I've I've skimmed a lot of it, so it's not like I'm. Are you benefiting Alberta and tax? You read. You did you read Benefit and the Burden and Tax? Yeah, I did. I skimmed a lot of that book when we had. (laughs) (laughs) I waited too late to do that. Um. What are where so what do we have do we have to post on the discussion board like all of us or like all of us? So I'm supposed to work there's a discussion board where we're supposed to post the link from right. this. Um and then that's do you like do I comment? Do I have to comment or do I, do I have to do anything? If you're gonna post a link, do I have to do anything? I don't think so. Not from what I've understood. Um there's so there's just one more part of the discussion we have to do. It's okay. called the feedback discussion. So um, it asks uh, how should Mary approach? Uh, I guess Simon. It says the discussion, but I'm guessing her meeting with him. Um, and I had I had written this in my paper, and I just said that she needed to be since he's a very aggressive. Um, controlling person it looks like that she needs to be that way with him like she needs to establish that she's the boss in right, the yeah. and be leading it and not let him really talk at all <laughs> yeah i agree because like she seemed just such like a like she needs to be more strict she needs to be more of the head boss she feels i feel like i'm getting the vibe that she just wants to not like push anybody's feelings or anything like that like just the way she went about like making that meet that whole meeting with Simon, I just thought was like really bad. Like she should have informed him like we need to talk about what happened, and then so Simon would have been like, "Oh, 
will recognize that it was bad what he did instead of doing this like indirect kind of path of getting to Simon. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and we pretty much just covered everything. It said, what are the most effective methods that Mary can use? We just said be direct. Right. Um, discuss the principles of effective feedback mm -hmm. and how it applies to the situation. Um, this case study was pretty short. It, it was only two pages. So like, yeah, the last one was like seven. I know. I don't know how we're supposed to get eight to ten problems in every case. Two pages. I wrote four pages on two pages. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, BS I guess I'm going to have to find eight pages or eight problems in the next case study at least. Yep. <laughs> um, I think that's, that's all that's of it. it. That's good. Yeah. All right. So... So are we good then? And when do you want to meet for like? So so we scheduled meet Thursdays, and he said we need to stick to our our Schedule. plans because okay. he might join in on the discussions. Fun. So, <laughs> so I can do Thursday. Um, I get out. Of, I, so I I have uh, eleven. I have uh, three o two from nine forty five to eleven fifteen on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then I work in the accounting lab at six to nine so anytime between 11 15 and six so, i'm usually free depending on if i'm working with my 302 group though so okay Thursday, need, yeah i'm i'm free from one to one to four just because i'm four. four okay so, so we can we, we can do you want to just as of now shoot for doing it at um two o'clock yeah and then we'll have leeway till four, or yep. I mean till like three, till three, and then so you can you have to go to work at four. So yeah, yeah. So if so, I if I end up like because I know we have a three hundred two test this week, and I think I might I'll probably might have to work on quiz access that day. So two or three probably would be better. So I'll 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 uh, let's plan on two, and then if I have to if I'm in a group for doing something, then. I'll shoot you an email and we can push it back if that's all right with you. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's fill out this group your sheet real quick. Doing both. So we'll just alternate weeks if that's cool with you. Yeah, that's fine. So this week you'll be the leader. Okay. So I'll, I, I'm the one that put the – so group leader just, like, records it and links the – Links the yeah, thing. Yeah, like okay. uh, his, so his email said, Do we see. have to turn the sheet in, the group leader stuff? Huh? Do we have to turn in the group leader sign up sheet? Yeah, so I'll, I'll fill that out. It's, okay, all you yeah. have to do is put a name and email, so I'll fill that out. Sweet. Yeah, just alternate. That's fine with me. And then, uh, so in this, it, it says that the group leader needs to get the password from him. So you might have to email him to get the password and say you are the group leader this week. Gotcha. All right, I'll do that. So, so we're playing Thursday. Yep. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Sweet. I'll talk to you later then. Sounds good. See you. Right, bye.